Hello, welcome to Insert Game. Today we're going to take a look at something I just recently picked up. It's a Commodore 1701 monitor used with, you can use it with a Commodore uh, VIC-20 or a Commodore 64 or anything with uh, AV cables really. It's a pretty cool uh, monitor. I don't really see much Commodore stuff in my area. Uh, this might be the only second monitor I've ever seen in my life and I've only ever seen one Commodore 64 and only ever seen one Commodore VIC-20 which I actually own so they don't come around often so I was pretty happy when I seen this and I was even happier that I could score it so let's take a quick look at this. I'll take a look at the front here you can see it has this Commodore badge here something's missing here I'm not sure what it is yet maybe I might find that out at some point in time Telling you it's the model 1701 right there. Here is a little door hiding other controls. Uh, we have tint, color, bright, contrast, your horizontal position, and your vertical hold and volume. Then you have your audio and video jacks right here in the front. Up top here, this grill has a speaker, so the sound actually comes from the top of the monitor. Spinning around here, we have a, a handle. There is actually another handle on the other side. And right here, you can select either if you want to use the front uh, jacks or the rear jacks. You have a switch here for that. On the back, we have audio. Your Luma Chroma, so I guess S video ish type thing. Um, your information this tells me that this was made in, I think, February of 83. And then you got your power cable, which this one has been mended by somebody. Uh, interesting repair. Uh, it does work though, and you know, I guess it's safe enough. I think I just would have put a new end right on here, but this does work, so can't fault them for doing that, I guess. And just the other handle here, and we're back to the front again. So, yeah, overall, pretty good condition for being made in '83. It's probably been a used quite a bit and put in storage, used, you know, the life of a retro tech, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's hook something up to it and try it out. So here I have it hooked up to uh, just one of my many plug and plays that I have. Uh, this happens to be pinball. And I think it looks actually pretty good. And the volume is actually pretty decent. So that's pretty cool. Uh, So maybe hook something else up and see what it looks like. I just grabbed my Sega plug and play here. So see what it looks like. <laughs> wow. Golden Axe it is.
this looks pretty awesome. I'm really, really happy with this. I can adjust the sides a little more on it. I can, there's a little bit of a bar there, but... Uh, oh! <laughs> I have no trouble playing it on this. this in a while. Oh, I want to ride that thing. Yeah. Sounded terrible. something else. See what else I uh, can hook up to this and just see what it looks like. As you can see I got my Dreamcast hooked up here. Play some Royal Rumble. This is actually a pretty good game for the Dreamcast. If you like wrestling games, which I do. good monitor. It's going to kill this here. Yeah, but overall I like this. This is pretty good. Anyway, that's a quick look at my Commodore 1701 monitor. Uh, very happy to have this. I think it works really great for the age. It looks really good still. Uh, a little bit of tweaking maybe. A little bit of cleanup. It should be should be good to go for quite a while. Uh, very excited to have this. I just had to show somebody, so this is why I made the quick video. Uh, anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching.